Hi, my name is Philip Proctor, and today I will be giving an in-depth look of my website. So basically what the main point of my website is NCAA eligibility, and one of the main problems that they deal with is players leaving school early in order to make the pro league so they can make money rather than staying in school longer. So this website gives you the idea of whether or not student athletes should stay in school or leave to make a career in the pros because only about 2% of student athletes actually make the pros. And typically the average length of a professional athlete is about three to four years. So on my biography page, it just gives a little bit more in depth of my personal background. So a brief summary of this, I am a sports admin major at LSU and I'm currently working at in the athletic department in the ticket office. So I've been getting a good perspective of how athletics work in an office standpoint. And I'm originally from Kentucky. So obviously the, our main sport is college basketball. So before I came to LSU, never really experienced a big time college football atmosphere. So right down here is my tech blog, which it gives like a little few more of my blogs, such as a little bit more of my bio about copyright and fair use, about what you can use online that it is considered copyright, or if you can just use it on your own and what is considered fair game to use on the internet. And then also how to use wikis in the classroom because classroom settings they want to try to use more of a technology setting and by using wikis these are beneficial ways to help the classroom in an easier way and then over here are some more like additional links over here that are more of my interests here all right and so over on my resources pages it has my my diago account which has a few like resources about nca eligibility and just the basics on what it takes to be eligible eligible to play college athletics so here's a few websites on my resource page And then right over here on the, my favorites page is a little bit more like in depth about like the perspectives of student athletes and also a few good TED talks about the topic. Because this one talks about that there's not enough time in, this, in the day of a student athlete and this one also talks about like the untold story of student athletes. So these are some good TED Talks I found really interesting about student athletes and their opinions. And then right over here on technology projects, we have my digital scavenger hunt around LSU's campus, which is when we went around the campus and took pictures of different landmarks on campus. So I got some more of the historical buildings and landmarks around campus. And then over here, it's our, it was my PowerPoint slide that we used non-copyright non images. And basically for doing this, what I learned is it's a little bit harder finding pictures that don't use copyright just because the majority of the pictures that we use online use copyright. And then we have a few more listed under technology projects. So here's my digital story. 
which is my NCA to play or be played digital story. So basic summary is to it talks about the how the one done rule makes a big impact on college athletics as a whole. So it talks about like the history of the one and done rule and all talks about what's taking place now and what can happen in the future. And here is my mobile app that I was assigned. I was assigned the We Video app, which is actually what I use to make the digital story. So after doing research on the We Video app, it made making my digital story much easier. So I believe We Video is a good source to use in classrooms to make videos. Because I thought it was pretty, easy. I thought it was pretty easy. And right here, it's our personal learning environment. So basically, it talks about what we, what we like to use, such as our tools that we use, the communities that we work with, and the services that we have to assist us. And then we also have our professional learning network, which is the sources. That we that we use to help us with our careers, and then here is when we talked about our blogs curation, micro blogs, and here it gives like the basic definition for each, and we also have examples for each one. I, that's the there's the my examples of blogs, and then this is my reflection on on a blog. And then we also worked on curation. And this this is another site. So after looking through all of these and thinking of different examples, these are all good things to use in a classroom setting, especially with classrooms going into more of an online format with the advances of technology. And then here's my website evaluation. Just because it's, it's important to know what, what websites that are available that are good to use in a, in a classroom setting because not all websites are good to use. And then over for evaluations, my Apple teacher certification which whenever I went on to Apple Teacher at Apple, went on, you could either use the iPad or the normal computer setting. So that's, so I used the normal computer settings and then we worked in like iMovie and other applications. And then for each one of those, you get your badges. And then once you get all six badges, then you get your Apple Teacher certification. And then for my screencast, this is the video that you are currently watching right now. So overall, this is my website over NCAA eligibility. It gives you an idea of what you believe that the NCAA do. This website helps you give resources to help think about your opinion because you might have thought of one opinion and then you might end up changing that. So after going for all these sources, hopefully you all enjoyed my website.